Hello everybody, welcome to Trassy Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about projectile and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to projectile fired horizontally from a height. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. Before proceeding further, let us review quickly the horizontal and vertical motion equations. As such, I have discussed about them in detail in the video related to summary of horizontal and vertical motion equations and so what equations. This is just a glance that uh, this is the horizontal uh, motion and in horizontal motion we will be considering uh, these two conditions. And this is the vertical motion of the projectile and in that we'll be covering these two conditions and the end results are the equation that is x equals to ut where x stands for the horizontal distance u for the initial velocity and t for the time of flight and here y stands for vertical distance g stands for acceleration due to gravity and most important of all in horizontal motion, the projectile moves with constant velocity and in vertical motion, the projectile moves with constant acceleration. This thing we have to keep in mind, these, are, these two points are very, very important. And here is the list of formulas we will be using to solve the numerical problems. And then we have the SWAT, our kinematic equations. The general three equations are V equals to U plus AT s equals to ut plus half uh, at squared and v squared minus u squared equals to 2as. Here, uh, while taking the horizontal motion, we will be considering the subscript x which stands for the horizontal distance and the subscript y which stands for the vertical motion. As such, the equation remains the same. So the difference lies here that uh, for a y uh, we will be using g acceleration due to gravity and for s we will be using h uh, which represents height. So now let us start the numerical problems. The first question. A stone is fired horizontally with a velocity of 98 meter per second from the top of a cliff 490 meter high. You can see here in the figure that the height of the cliff is 490 meter and the stone is fired horizontally. It is taking the parabolic path and it touches the ground at this point. So we need to find the velocity with which the stone hits the ground. That means we are talking about the final velocity here because the initial velocity is given as uh, 98 meter per second. The time taken by the stone to reach the ground, like the, like the total time taken by the stone to reach here from this point and the distance between the stone and cliff. This is the uh, distance between the stone and the cliff what we call as horizontal range. So we need to find the horizontal range. And the acceleration due to gravity is given as 98 meter per second squared. So to solve this question, first of all, the first step is to analyze what is given and what needs to be found. Here, given a stone is fired horizontally with a velocity, so the uh, initial velocity and the horizontal direction is given as 98 meter per second from the top of a cliff 40 meter high that means the height the y the vertical distance is given as 490 meter so we need to find the final velocity we need to find the time of flight and we need to find the horizontal range so let's solve them one by one the velocity with which the stone hits the ground, we need to find v here. So uh, given as ux is equal to 98 meter per second and the height is given as 490 meter. Now uh, we need to find the velocity for that we have to use one of the Suvat equation. And the equation that we will be using here is v square minus u square equals to 2as. We will be using this equation v square minus u square equals to 2as. Here 
A will be equals to G, which is equals to 9.8 meter per second square, and S will be equal to H, that is 490 meter. We will be using this equation because we need to find the final velocity. Initial velocity is given, acceleration due to gravity is given, R and the height is given. So this is the best fit equation, so we just need to substitute the value. So first of all here, v square minus u square equals to 2gh. Now what I'm doing here, I am taking u here, so it will be u square plus 2gh, and if I take v, it will be a square root of u square plus 2gh. If you remember, this is the formula we discussed for the final velocity. So we need to now uh, just substitute the values. So u square is 98 square plus 2 into uh, 9.8 into h is 490. So this will come out to be 2 into 98 square. So this will come out to be uh, root 2 into 98 because this is the square it will get cancelled by the square root and the value of the square root 2 is 1.414 into 98 so on multiplying we'll get the answer as 138.57 meter per second so this is the final velocity with which the stone hits the ground next question time taken by the stone to reach the ground as the stone here is fired from a height from a cliff so whenever we need to find the time we have to take into consideration the vertical motion equation so here is the vertical motion equation that I will be using to find the time of flight and we know that in the vertical motion equation the initial velocity in the vertical direction is zero and the acceleration in the vertical direction is equals to acceleration due to gravity so on substituting the values we get y equals to zero plus half gt square or y equals to half gt square as in the question is given height so uh, instead of y I will write here h equals to half gt square and I will just uh, rearrange them so this will come out to be 2h and I'm taking g down equals to t square or t square is equals to 2h upon g or t equals to square root of 2h upon g. Uh, we can use the symbol capital T for the time of flight. So I can write here t equals to square root of 2h g. If you recall this is the formula we discussed to find the time of flight. Now I will just substitute the values. t equals to 2 into 490 meter upon 9.8 so t will be equal to square root of 100 so it will come out to be 10 seconds so the time taken by the stone to reach the ground is just 10 seconds next part the distance between the stone and cliff that means we need to find the horizontal range to find the horizontal range we have to take into consideration horizontal motion equation here is the horizontal motion equation and for the horizontal motion we will be taking the initial velocity along the uh, horizontal direction as u and the acceleration due to gravity in the horizontal direction as zero so if I substitute the values here I get x equals to ut plus zero or x equals to ut it, x is the horizontal distance and we have to find the distance between the cliff and the stone which is horizontal range so here I will write r equals to ut that means horizontal range is equals to initial velocity in the horizontal direction and time of flight so now I need to just substitute the values initial velocity is given as 98 meter per second and the time of flight we have found as 
10 seconds in case you don't remember then you can again use this formula as 2h upon g so uh, on solving this we will get the value as 980 meters so the distance between the stone and the cliff is 980 meter so that was all about the practice problems related to projectile motion fired from the high. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.